All right, YouTube, today we're gonna to be breaking down the final three hills of the LET versus Boston Breach six star hardpoint. I'll be going over some of the winning plays that LET had in this map specifically. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna watch some of these breakdowns live, go and follow the Twitch stream. I've been streaming a bunch of days during the week, basically doing all of these breakdowns live. So if you have any questions or just wanna catch one of these in a live session, definitely go check out the Twitch stream. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one number four number two spawn out now number three is going to go l to play these spawners number one has to watch his drop thing the big thing to pick up is pentagram is pinching through mid is number four going to be able to pick this up before he hits through the front of time Let's see if number four sees him he doesn't so now it's fucked good two piece by pentagram you guys see how many like little timings there are with the spawns where you can make these plays like if, if if he waits like one more second, number four just kills him right away. You know what I mean? So we talked about the pentagram's timing. He gets a two piece on here. Now he has time. Let me back this up. You say, oh, why didn't he just hit through uh, towards this way? But because he gets a P4 spawn, this, especially at the end of the hill, Two seconds left in the hill. Think about where this spawn is versus where this spawn is. And this is where he would spawn if he spawned once the hill popped. This is a great timing to try and hit through mid. First to catch anyone that might be slipping and going through mid this way. Usually it doesn't happen, obviously. But he also bumps off of Pentagram's play. So now he picks up anyone spawning out this way trying to go to pool. This is a great timing that you kind of need to take based on where you spawn in the moment. Like you have to be the one to pick up and he even sees number four here. He shoots at number four. So he get, he gives that information to Pentagram. So Pentagram's going to turn. He starts pre-firing. Imagine if Joe sees went through the front door like this. Priest sees this guy, shoots at him, doesn't kill him, but he gives the information. Yo, yo, he's coming front. He's front, front single, front single. Pentagram turns around, starts pre-firing. Imagine if he got that kill on Joe Steves. Now the 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 one the hill's one or should be one. And, there it is, six kills for and that's just because of what the, what he did off spawn here. Because he chooses to go through here rather than wrap around, that's what that's that's a play that could be made. You know what I mean? Is noting where you and your teammate spawns pretty much indicate where the other team is going to spawn? Yeah. It's, it's like a deduction thing most of the time. A lot easier in something like a Treyarch game, like Cold War or something, where the, the spawns actually <laughs> make sense, because obviously there are some uh, random split spawns that you can't really read unless you have the information on where everyone on their team is at in this game. But for the most part, it's a, dedu a deduction thing. Like, we're here, I just killed this person there, they're probably spawning here. It's I wouldn't say it's a definitive thing, but it's a, a probability type thing. So I think the right word, let me know if I'm wrong, is induction rather than deduction. This is a this is a fucking English lesson here where it's based on probabilities. And that's what we're playing with right now. In your head, this is this is your head. You gotta be thinking about probabilities wise where they can spawn so it's like based on my team based on any enemy opponents we know uh their their location at enemy opponents at the current moment based on uh hill control there, there's so many other things etc you have to be thinking of you know let's say 90% they're spawning here, but there is a 10% chance that they can spawn elsewhere and in X specific areas. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's not like I'm spawning here. They have to be spawning here in this game where it's like a lot of sh shit, like weird shit can happen. It's I'm spawning here. My team is here. The last guy we killed is here. There's a really, really good chance probability wise they're spawning here. But there's a lot of things you have to take into account.
And a lot of times it's hard as fuck to do in the moment. You have to care. I, I made a video about this, but you have to care some of these wax spawns because it's a possibility and you just don't want to, you just want to cover your bases. The biggest thing with respawns is you don't want to be chaotic because the more chaotic it happens, the less controlled it is, the harder it is to play. Gets himself a cruise missile, trying to step away from the chase from Deceives. But Joe's able to tally the kill, and now everything falls on to the... Step away from the chase from Deceives. But Joe's able to tally the kill, and now everything... Cruise missile trying to... They gotta know this guy's still L. Step away from the chase... Priest is even... Even... Priest is even shooting at him. I guess Snoopy doesn't see him. Because Priest just shoots at him. He's expecting Snoopy to pick this up L. But... I mean, this guy... Once he sees... Snoopy just go towards drop. He, he just hits it out <laughs> and pitches them on time. They have to kill this guy. This is the most important guy in the whole setup. They don't kill this guy, it's fucked. So like this needs to be not only stressed, but it needs to be committed to this kill. And the worst part is, is Priesta saw him. Priesta saw him and starts shooting at him. And they got, he got a kill. He got a kill on Pentagram. They know 100% he's out here. They need to get this kill. From the chase from deceives, but Joe's able to tally the kill, and now everything falls. And now he just gets lost. He flanks drop, and now they're holding the hill. Has to be a miscom. I don't know, it's a pretty big fucking miscom because Pentagram literally died there, and Priest just sees it. I'm pretty sure this this has to be calm somewhere. They, this guy's towels or something. Maybe, maybe Snoopy doesn't see him initially and thinks that, like. He ran backwards, but you know, Priesta still doesn't see him. Away from the chase from deceives, but Priesta never sees him. And then it, he's just lost in translation. I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but that is the most important kill in this break for them. And they don't get it. So LET breaks on in. Krem spawns in the back here, so they know they're spawning in front. So now these guys turn around. One and four turn around. And now it's a it's an easy hold for LAT. Just stack the stack the point. You can push out your blue if you want to. If you want to make a play through mid, Nasty can do that. You have your towels held. You have your front held. You're chilling. You're chilling here for LAT. Nasty's actually just gonna take the full route to to flip for B3. Not even cut cut mid. This is a good play. And now they spawn out. Number seven has to play his life here. But they're spawning towards him. I think Boston trolled the fuck out of the situation. Not only did they hold this, but like... Okay, cook up a day and with that the thieves once again showcasing their break stats. Yeah, just when boss of breach think, okay, we're gonna get a couple kills. Uh, they, they, it's just hard to break and then because they don't break or get any sort of kills, these guys just push through mid for free. Nasty just takes her out through mid. No one sees him. You're even more of a scary situation because already off the rotation, Nasty finds himself on enemy lines. Three boss and breach players spawn all the way across the map. And if you are LA, you are in full control of this game. And you get the call off, dude. <laughs> now you're full set up. You just held everything for the P2. Uh, similar to the other setup, obviously different areas. So, again, desk holding curve. You're always going to have the guy on the desk. It's an insane heady. White is playing with a sub close corner. So instead of playing uh, like that flex spot that we saw Pentagram play before, He's playing a close corner here. You have one guy at the bar watching wood, one guy long watching uh, the hop up. And in this scenario, we, we kind of have the flex positions again. Like number two, if he if if number three sees like two towards the curve, number two can help it out. And number one can pick up white. Similar to that, number one can help towards white if he needs to. He would just have to be wary of like not turning around and getting killed from number eight towards wood. Is that a cruise? Is that a here, a cruise? All right, so the Boston did have a cruise. This is a great hill to use a cruise on. Anyone in rank play? I guess, fuck, the, the hill's changed, so it's not really a thing anymore, but P3 and P5, 
This is where you're going to see every cruise on this map, pretty much. Unless it's a do or die situation, you have to break the hill, whatever. P3 and P5 are just guarantees. So he's going to be able to kill number four here, for sure. Yep, they get the kill, they get the entry, right? Now, number three doesn't see anything. He realizes they use the cruise, so he has to fill in what this guy died uh, that was filling in. So he has to go long and, and try and pick up this hop wall. That's a big kill by Dan. Dan getting a kill is, is massive for the wood, but Krem dies here uh, white. If Krem stayed on this this angle, I think he gets the kill. I think the guy just runs past him, but he moves he moves his position. Dan gets the kill front. Krem dies on the backside. Big kill by Nasty. So Nasty, once again, the flow happened. Joe deceives dies watching the hop wall. Nasty was at the at the table. He didn't see anything for a very long period of time. They use the streak. He has to fill in. He fills in the hop wall just in time. Gets the kill at the hop wall. Number one, Dan, great play. He knows this guy's white. They call it ring. So Kremp is saying one shot wing, one shot ring. Dan gets the kill wood, instantly turns for the trade. Good play by Dan. Great play. Now everything's covered. I love this play by Dan. He's a streaker. They know it's contested. He knows he's hop wall. He says chalice guy. They chow together. Easily, easily, easily held. So that's that's how good teamwork can can salvage a situation where a cruise or some some type of kill streak breaks the hill. So they had good flow. Nasty pick up the thing that needed to be picked up. Dan gets the kill towards Wood. Even though Kremp dies here, Dan gets another kill with the trade here. And then last guy alive was the guy who streaks, so he's out of the play for a little bit because they were, they were trying to break on in without him while he was a little bit further back. He jumps on the hop wall. It's contested now. They know where he is. They, they double chow him. Great plays. And because they get these kills, Krem's already towards P1. He can now get pushed up to, to blue here. Get this kill vent. That's a great timing. Because you know they're spawning P2. You, you know they're going to try and rotate like through the vent or through the back. And he can take that timing. Now he's going to help out towards new who, like, Joe Deceives is already to pushed towards the office. Already have office control. This is this is great initial control. Dan picks up mid for them in case anyone was hitting towards you. Everything's covered. They're playing this very well. Kremp even gets a kill from the water drop, too. Perfect rotation. Joe Deceives gets another kill. They're just winning every gunfight. <laughs> So, Nasty dies off old. Fine, free play, because he's just going to spawn up, like, over here or whatever. And he's calling out to Dan that he's going mid-stairs. So, Dan's going to be at the stage caring for his U. We have water drop covered. We have office covered. Everything covered for the, for the hill. Nasty spawns long. So, Dan's going to help old plus have a, a team shot with, with nasty if they do come you so he can bump to he can bump towards time if he needs to but they get the kill, two kills so he can just turn for these guys great place what have they got they've gotten fucking nine kills in a row together 10 kills this is a great rotation they're still covering everything look at boston no one's taking a bit route because they they're they have to flood 243 everyone's everyone's like everything's covered for let in order to get to the hill they're gonna have to be met with a bunch of team shots number two number four watch in the back he obviously turns for the information that they're getting that they're coming through like this this front door or this back door over here water drop you everything's covered here last attempt for boston to try to break through and it has to be perfect and well the kill feed is giving us they get the kill water drop but again just get straight out honestly those last two hills were great by by let i think boston fucked up bad on the p2 and that kind of cost them 